Welcome to our video part 13 front servo assembly on our 727. I have already pre-fitted our rings on our pistons. There's two pistons. This piston takes two rings where the other one takes a single ring. And you have your two springs. Uh, the tools that you'll need is some grease or Vaseline, a J-clamp, a fine blade screwdriver and a set of pliers going inside out. First we grab our piston with a bit of lubrication or Vaseline or grease we uh, put them on our rings. Um, I usually put them where the ring starts and finishes and you push the rings all the way in so they don't break while you're inserting them inside the ball. You grab your pliers, um, make sure they get a good grip on the piston Prior to doing that, we can lubricate our transmission bore. There's two bores. You've got your large bore and you've got your smaller bore internally. Then we grab our piston. We insert it in, into the transmission case. Be gentle, taking, taking care not to break any of the rings. Uh, once the piston's inside, you can work it up and down a few times. We then grab our piston rod, we can grab our inner spring, then our outer spring, and finally the, last, the second last part of the jigsaw puzzle, the top uh, piston. Next in line is our J-clamp. We can insert our J-clamp on top of it and using some sort of spacer or shim, we can put that in between our clamping device and our top piston. Taking care not to break our piston ring, we can go ahead and insert our snap ring. Once you are confident that you have located the snap ring land um, and, the circ and the snap ring is all the way home, um, you can remove your G-clamp um, just to affirm everything is in place. Just go around this, this, this snap ring and have a good view and make sure that everything is in place. Um, last thing you want is this snap ring falling out. Once you are happy that the snap ring has been located in its correct place, you can then grab a bit of air um, if you have a compressor, uh, that'll be fine. You can just grab your air nozzle and insert some air in this location and just gently apply a bit of air uh, to confirm that the servo is applying on and off. Thank you. And there you have it. There is our video 13. Um, stick around. We've got the rest of the rebuild.